I fell asleep after ten minutes of looking at the ceiling. The moon then went down as the sun came up. I then woke up as I turned over and saw the clock. Oh God, is it really 8 a.m.? I questioned as I stretched my arms and got up. I then picked up the pillow and threw it into the back room as it was still wet from me spilling the water everywhere. I'll sort that out later. I said as I was really low on energy. Someone then knocked on the door. Are you opening today? They said as I was pulling up my pants. I turned around embarrassed. Yes yes, just one second. I said as I wiped my face and came over to the front door. Sorry about that. I said as I opened the door. It's okay, I just need to get some sweets before I go take the kids to school. Oh okay. I said as they came in to see the mess all over the floor. What's been going on? He asked. Nothing. I said as I rushed around the back of the counter and began to open up the sweets. What would you like? I asked as I pulled up my pants. Just some of those. He said as he pointed to the mixed colored one with nuts in. Oh, great choice. I said as I got out the shovel and began to get them out. I put them all in the bag as he got out his credit card. How much do I own you? He said. Oh just three pounds. I said as he gave me the money. Thank you. He said as he looked into the bag and noticed all the strange stuff in it. What is all of this? He asked as I went over and looked at it. The sweets you asked for? I replied. He then looked at it again. These? He said as he pulled out a set of keys. I don't want to be biting on metal. He jokingly said as he passed me the keys. Oh I'm sorry, I didn't see that. I said that as he looked at me strangely. Are you okay? He said as I put the keys in my pocket. You can have the sweets for free. I said as I handed back his money. You didn't answer me. He said as I suddenly fell to the floor. He looked at me in confusion as I hit my head on the way down. Are you okay? He said as I was out for the count. He rushed over to grab the phone as his sweets spilled everywhere. He then called the police and medics as he then went back to my office. He then took the keys from my desk as he then locked up the shop. I slowly managed to get up as my head was hurting from hitting the counter. Oh goodness. I said as I saw all the blood on the floor. I was holding my head as I was feeling dizzy. I tried to walk to the counter but I was really struggling. Help. I shouted as it was getting hot in here. There was no reply as there was more and more blood coming out of my head. Ten minutes must have passed as all of a sudden there was a loud bang at the door. Hello. They shouted as I was still laying on the floor as blood was pouring out. They looked through the windows and banged on it a lot. Sir. They shouted as I was still laying on the ground. They then kicked the door in as they rushed over and assisted me. Sir, it's going to be okay. The medic said as they began to wrap my head up in bangles. I wasn't really focusing on what they were saying as the other medic was cleaning up the blood. But what about the shop? I said slowly as I was trying to communicate with the medics. Sir, it would be better if you were quiet. The medic said as he placed a head brace around my neck. I can't. I said as I then began to shake. We need to get this person right to the hospital, Harold. The medic said as they began to lift me up and onto the stretcher. Totally. Harold replied as they were rushing me to the ambulance. I was placed on the stretcher and the ambulance began to drive off. I was still unsure what was going on. As suddenly my mobile phone began to ring. The medic grabbed it. Hello, this is Harold from the hospital, your friend has been in a serious incident and he is being taken to hospital. Oh my goodness. The voice said down the line. Yes, sorry, I have to go. Harold said as he placed the phone down and continued to work on my head. Twenty minutes went by as we were making it to the hospital, I slowly began to wake up as the medics were still force-feeding me. Hello? I said, all confused. Sir, you have been attacked. 
Harold said as he passed me the phone. Someone called Amy tried calling earlier, I explained you are on the way to the hospital. I looked at him. No no. I said. You shouldn't have done that. I said as I looked embarrassed. Harold looked at me confused. Why? He said. We were having an affair and now she is going to come to the hospital and now her husband is going to be mad at me. I said I began to panic. Harold then took the oxygen mask off my face. Sorry. He said as I looked at his badge. Are you sure you are a real medic? I said as he began to sweat. Um, yes. He said as he pointed at his badge. But that is a fake. I said as I got up from the stretcher and looked at him eye to eye. Don't I know you? I questioned. Sir, I suggest you go back to sleep. He said, trying to dodge the questions. I know you from school. I said as he looked embarrassed. You used to bully me. I then announced as he then put the oxygen mask back onto me. Go back to sleep. Harold said as he was holding the mask over me, choking me. Stop. I said under the mask as I tried to wrestle it off him. The ambulance then pulled up to the hospital as we came to a slow stop. The other medic came out and opened up the doors. Oh you are doing better. She said. That is good. She continued as Harold was just looking there confused. Harold, come on. Sorry sorry. Harold said as I was still laying under the oxygen mask being taken out on the stretcher. The blood had stopped going to my brain. Harold. The other medic shouted as he had taken his eye off the ball. Come on. She yelled as Harold then began to cry. Oh come on. She said as she was handling the stretcher all by herself. Harold then jumped out of the ambulance and walked out. She then took control of the stretcher as other medics came out to help me as Harold ran around the corner. I was being escorted in as I was feeling better than before but still had to be looked over by the medics. You are going to be okay. The medic said. I was getting better but had to go in for an emergency operation. Sir, we need to stitch your head up. The doctor said as I was still under the oxygen mask. What happened to Harold? One of the other doctors said. He just needed some fresh air. The medic said as I then got up and looked around the room. She isn't here is she? I said. Who? The doctor asked. The medic accidentally called my mistress and I don't want her here. I said as they were still working on my skull. No, no one has arrived just yet. The doctor said. Oh good. I replied as they put something in me. This is just something to make you sleepy. The doctor announced. Okay. I said as I suddenly got a headache. I love you. I said to the doctor as he looked at me strangely. I then went to sleep as the doctors then rolled me into the theater room.